Hello and welcome to Ecoholics. In this small video, we will discuss about neoclassical model, which has been given by Solo. This is one of the most popular model for any examination if you are giving in economics. For economics optional, for Indian economic services, UGC net, RBI grade B, DEPR, gate economics, M entrance examination for DSC, JNU, this video is of very much help. So here we'll see what are the details of this solo model. So this solo model I'll be covering in two parts. This is the first part that you have to understand the conceptual clarity before understanding the full model. Now if you see the word neoclassical whenever we see. So Robert Solo, you know, American, famous American economist, Nobel laureate and J. E. Mead, James Mead, famous British economist and the Nobel laureate. These two names are familiar with or the famous with neoclassical model. But here we'll see, we'll focus on solo model. Now the solo model, it built around 1950s and 60s. So th this was the timeline or the time period, what we can say, where neoclassical model started coming into the picture. Now for the first time, neoclassical model, the word classical is there. So you can understand that this is in contrast to herod Domer model that we have studied in the previous videos. Now, the herod Domer model, main thing, less Im important on mainly the capital accumulation. So, here also we'll see how neoclassical model gives the detail and how it is different from herod Domer model. Now, if we talk about neoclassical model, Solo has given a simple model where they let very importance on the capital accumulation. Now their capital accumulation plays a very important role in determining the economic growth of a particular country. Now this capital accumulation, a very important determinant of this capital accumulation is savings. So savings plays a very important role. For example, if you save a lot, then you have a good amount of capital accumulated that you can invest and you can achieve the growth rate that you desire. So on the same lines, economies do the same thing. Okay, so this is capital accumulation and that is important determinant is saving. Next thing which is very important for this model is the factors. So factors of production. Now these factors of production mainly they have taken two capital and labor. So two factors of production in the, uh, in the solo model or what we call new classical model is very important that is first one capital and the second one is labor. Now in the new classical solo model they have augmented technology as well. Now, how they incorporated technology? Now, technology is exogenously determined. Exogenously determined technology included in the model. What does it mean? Exogenously means that is outside the model. So it is affecting the model, but it is not within the model. I'll explain with a simple equation. Okay. So when I say that technology is exogenously determined, if I write the equation, this is a basic equation. Y is GDP growth rate. A is the total factor productivity. So here I'll write Y is GDP. A is total factor productivity, which we call technology. F is for function. K is for capital and L is for labor. So this is a basic equation where I can say this A is the technology factor is the function of this. So here it means the GDP growth rate depends on technology, depends on capital and labor. This is a basic thing that they have explained. Now if you see what is the role of this A that is total factor productivity. If I change the marker and I will say that this if a symbol is very important here. If I will write rewrite this equation by removing it from here, okay, we'll write in two scenarios where I can say y is equals to the function of k comma a l. Okay. Or if I'll write y is equals to the function of a k comma l what does it mean it means that this first one technology is labor augmenting and in the second one the technology is capital augmenting 
What does it mean? It means that technology is affecting only capital. On the top, technology is affecting only labor. So labor is getting help of technology and that is affecting the growth rate. But if I rewrite the equation, which I wrote a minute earlier, that is y is equals to AFKL. Now this is the equation of the solo model. Okay, sorry for the handwriting. But you can see this is, it means this technology is there for both these factors of production K and L. Okay, so that is why it is called the neoclassical model where factors of production plays a very important role. We'll see in a minute. Now, there's another term mentioned in this model is known as solo residual. Now, what is solo residual? Very important for examination purpose. I'll write the equation again. And if I say that the effect of this A, that is total factor productivity or what we call technology, the effect of A on the GDP growth rate is called solo residual. Okay. So solo residual, if in the examination they will ask, what's the meaning? Is the effect of technology on GDP. Okay. And that is independent of KNL. KNL is increasing at their own pace. But what will be the impact of this? We will call as solo residual. Like for example, I am I am an accountant and I am doing accounts on pen and paper. If someone will give me computer, my efficiency will go up. It means technology is affecting the labor efficiency. So we'll see this is solo residual, the effect of technology on GDP growth rate. So that is known as solo residual. Now we'll see how the solo model is different from Harrod Doomer model. Now, if you want to see, understand this scenario. Planned savings and investment. Now, in the neoclassical solo model, planned saving and investment. And the next thing is what we can say that the proportional, variable proportional, they assume the factors are in variable proportional. It means two things are different in Harrod Doomer and Solo model. Here they are assuming that all the factors are in variable proportion. What does it mean? It means there is unlimited possibility of substituting capital with labor. It means capital and labor and there is unlimited substitutability. Plant saving and investment they are equal and they are adjusting with the prices automatically. Here prices includes interest rate as well. It means on the basis of a free market economy, which is why classical model having their main base. So prices are adjusting automatically. Plant saving and investment are equal. And that is why these prices, including interest rate, they can adjust themselves according to the market requirement. So this is how the solo model differs in logic with Harrod Doomer model. Now in the Harrod Doomer model, that was fixed proportion. Okay. Now here, one last thing we will see that how the economic growth will come down. So in the Harrod Doomer model, aggregate demand of goods, if aggregate demand of goods will decline, that will limit the economic growth of a particular country or an economy. But here in the neoclassical model or the solo model, the diminishing returns, diminishing returns to capital will limit the growth. So this is for Harrod Doomer model, I'll write HUD. Here I'll write solo model. So if someone will ask, what is the growth limiting factor? It means which factor will limit the growth of the economy? In Harrod Doomer model, it is aggregate demand of the goods comes down. But in solo model, it is diminishing return to the capital that an economy will receive will be the main result of decline in the growth rate.
So that is a small, we can say theoretical explanation of solo model. I hope you like this video. And if you like this video, give a big thumbs up. If you like our initiative, you can subscribe to Ecolix channel for the second part of this solo model and many more part of the Harrod Doomer and other models. You can check out all the videos in the playlist section. Apart from this, we are providing live classes for major economics examination, like economics optional for UPSC, Indian Economic Services, RBI, Grade B, DEPR, then Gate Economics, M Entrance, and many more. For that, you can check out our website given in the description. And for more information, or if you have any query in mind, you can contact on my WhatsApp number, as well as you can download the Ecolex app, where our academic team is ready to solve all your queries. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in.